be on top. That is what we are going to find out in this final week. It is Champions Week here at Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball. Taking a look at the top five on the leaderboard to start today's play. Alicia Gray, Odyssey Sims, Natasha Cloud, Kalani Brown, and Air Hearn. Now, all of those numbers will be impacted by game one of our doubleheader. And then, of course, Gray leading the way in game two of our double dip. That comes your way at 9 Eastern time on both Valley Sports and the WNBA app. Of those people who are trailing Gray, who has the best chance to get her? Well, you know, it's interesting because the fans or people at home are probably looking at it saying there's no way anybody can catch Alicia. Right? Yeah, we she thought there was nobody, there was yeah. no way anybody could catch Odyssey last year. She, she has a nice lead, but with the way the scoring is, obviously second, third place, they, I, I think they have the best shot, but also because of who it is. Mm -hmm. Odyssey Sims, who is triple-double waiting. Right, right. And, and Natasha Cloud. But what's really interesting to me is two new two newbies who haven't finished in the top five. Right. With Kalani Brown and Air Hearn, mm -hmm. they also have the ability to climb up that ladder. But it's going to be real interesting to see what happens um, this week. And Kirsten Bell can join that conversation as a captain yes. this week. She started the week in the fourth spot, and she is a part of our second half of our doubleheader. It will be Team Bell taking on Team Gray at 9 o'clock Eastern on both Valley Sports and the WNBA app. Dory Harrison trying to create some space off the mark. Sister Izzy with the rebound, and here comes Team Sims wearing orange and white. Odyssey serving. She's flirting with her second triple-double this season. Off the mark there. Battle for the rebound. Won by Essence Carson, the wily vet. Air Hearn splash. Good, good She's got 16. And here's why, why I say that. If, if Alicia goes every game mm -hmm. and not win a quarter, not win a game, right? She's not going to be able to add those points to her leaderboard total. our technical difficulties and welcome everybody back here on Valley Sports and the WNBA app. Really appreciative of our television partners at Valley Sports giving us an opportunity to be seen on linear TV so somebody can just pick up the remote control. Boom, there we are. And as we see women's basketball in particular, a sport that's just exploding across the country, both at the pro and collegiate level, it's cool that Bally Sports is in front and leading the way, helping us get to where we want to go. You know, Cindy, I always talk about opportunity and visibility. Mm. And that's exactly what Bally is given one opportunity for these women to be seen more and more often on a network platform right. that's great for everybody to be able to tune into some great basketball. Right now, Team Cloud is winning 70 to 60. And if you're unfamiliar with Athletes Unlimited, we're so happy to have you along the way. Our sport is so unique because great basketball plays are rewarded and bad basketball plays are dinged. McCray getting the bucket to go. Okay, Danny. Good bucket, Danny McCray. You know, I'm, and it's also, sorry, it's oh, also ahead. nice to see players who don't get a lot of playing time to see them come out and show what they bring to the table. And Danny McCray getting that opportunity today. Cooper off the mark from three. Odyssey Sims is there for the rebound. Her team is down a dozen in this game and is losing the quarter as well. Ty Young working hard down low and earning a trip to the free throw line. 
Ty Young, that 12-year WNBA veteran, saw how beautiful an opportunity it was that presented itself to be one of the founders of Athletes Unlimited Pro Women's Basketball. And she stepped in and stepped up, and it's been a beautiful thing to see. Well, and, and being a leader for, for the, the younger players or the next generation, mm -hmm. that's exactly what Ty Young has done for these young ladies here at Athletes Unlimited. A reminder, fans register for a chance to win an autographed basketball signed by all of our AU Pro Basketball athletes. Go to auproSports.com backslash sweepstakes for more details. And of course, we wouldn't have the opportunity to hand out a signed basketball without our friends at Bodden, who have been absolutely fantastic. Everybody's loved playing with the Bodden basketball. They made a mistake, I think, and sent me one to my house. So I've been <laughs> dribbling in my yard, and now my neighbors want my ball. It's pretty cool. So thank you to the folks at Bodden. Lexi Brown is so ridiculously fast and just has a knack for being in the passing lanes. And why would that be a mistake, Sydney? Well, you know, who am I on the pecking order? Of course they're going to send the Hall of Famer yourself, Cheryl Swoops, all the swag in the world. But I'm just, you know, the minion. We see Kalani Brown in a little bit of difficulty. And without a timeout is going to be taken as Natalie Trotter, our lead athletics trainer here at Athletes Unlimited, is going to check out the six foot seven inch center, make sure that she is OK. With that, we're going to step aside. We'll be right back. We hope you will be, too. Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball is sponsored by Bodden. Tonight's game here at the Fair Park Coliseum, marking the 400th competition in Athletes Unlimited history as AU brings you a quartet of sports, basketball and softball, lacrosse and volleyball. In game two of pro basketball tonight here on Valley Sports in the WNBA app at 9 Eastern, it will be Alicia Gray at the top of the table here on the leaderboard, taking on Kirsten Bell, who played her way into the fourth spot to earn a captaincy heading into the final week. It's Champions Week, and Gray is in the stands just thinking, you know, I got to think of some more ways to score the basketball. She's led the league in scoring, averaging better than 30 points a night, Cheryl. I, I don't know if she's really thinking about scoring more. She's looking at that leaderboard. She's like, let me go check out the first game so I can see what I need to do in the second game to make sure I stay in that top spot. She is calculating. For more on Gray, let's kick it over to uh, the fourth member of our broadcast team, Savannah Collins. Okay, Cheryl just said exactly what Alicia Gray does every single game. She's playing chess, not checkers this season. She's mm. been in the gold jersey since week two. They always play the second game. So she pops in. She said she takes a look at the leaderboard, and she goes, what do I need to do tonight in case anybody pass me for that top spot? Do I need to earn MVP points? Do we need to get all the win points tonight? Do I need to light it up for the stat points? And she has used that as her gauge all season long, how to keep this top spot night after night. Just taking a check in and going, am I still in that number one spot? Then things are good. Thanks so much, Savannah. And what's really eerie is that like a master puppeteer, she's controlling the numbers because she leads in every category just about that we have in Athletes Unlimited this season. So it is Ray Burrell. That three is wet. Oh, that's a big bucket. She's got eight points, and we're tied at 10 points apiece in this fourth and final quarter between Team Cloud and Team Sims. It's Team Cloud with the lead in the game, which would net every player on the team 180 win points. Tosh Cloud buries the triple to answer. Anything you can do, I can do better. And Cloud is into double figures with a dozen. That's tough, Tosh. Odyssey Sims off the mark. Air Hearn is there for the O board. Sims. Nobody is angrier than she is about missing that lay in. Moldro is fouled. So it will be. Team Cloud Basketball wearing the gray and blue jerseys. It is Team Cloud winning this quarter 13 to 10. They lost quarters two and three after winning the first quarter. 
So Kelani Brown wants to take a seat. Dory Harrison checking in for her. And Team Cloud will go back to work with the lead and the basketball under five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know Odyssey wants that last shot back. And then a turnover. We've seen some zone played by Team Sims today, but they've seemed to let that go, and they are just ready to man up the rest of the way. You know, Kalani Brown looking like she's in some pain on the sideline. Uh. We'll get a check on her. Air Hearn buries the triple. She knew it was good when she let it go. She's got 21. Oh, that's nice. Big bucket by Air Hearn, too. Tiff Mitchell staying under control. She's got 26 to lead all scores. And they cannot afford to trade buckets with Team Cloud right now. Ray Burrell trying to stop against Tosh Cloud. Off on the three-point try. Lexi Brown is there for the rebound. And Tosh says, hey, we're not in a hurry here. We've got the ball. We've got the lead. Lexi on the take, has her pocket picked by Air Hearn. Lexi seems to be in some difficulty. Odyssey Sims goes down hard and will earn a trip to the free throw line. And Odyssey does appear to be in a lot of pain. Natalie Trotter, our lead athletics trainer here at Athletes Unlimited, has been very busy in this game. First Tip Mitchell, then Kalani Brown, now Odyssey Sims. Well, Lexi and Lexi Brown, Brown went down also Odyssey. in some difficulty too, shaking that right hand. So we have a review of this play to see if the foul will be an upgrade. And it's nice to see Odyssey Sims getting up. She's got 21 points on 9 of 21 shooting. She and Air Hearn lead their team in scoring with 21 points apiece. Mm. Odyssey is in some pain. Official review is underway. I know Odyssey is tough, but wow, it's just tough to see her grimacing. Because mm. you know it's hurting. Because she never demonstrates anything. No, I, I, Odyssey's a, a tough one. Mm. And, and not only that, she wants to be in the game. Checking to see if this is a hostile act that sent Odyssey Sims flying. Don't see anything don't, that yeah. merits an upgrade there. Tosh Cloud was just going by. I mean, it was a hard foul, but I don't. Well, Tosh was going for the ball. Right, for sure. But it was the shove from Muldrow that sent ah, Sims okay. flying. Yeah. Okay. Here's another look. It'll be interesting to see what our replay official Lolly Signs and our officiating crew come up with. Team Cloud winning the game 81 to 69 and winning this quarter 15 to 13. And why that is important is because for every quarter a team wins, 60 quarter win points are applied to every member of the team for their leaderboard point total. And our officiating crew comes up with, it's just a basketball play, agreeing with the Hall of Famer, Sharon Booth. So it'll just be two shot foul if Odyssey is able to shoot her free throws. She is back from the locker room, so that is possibly a good sign. And we'll see if she is able to shoot these free throws. Were you able to make contact with Odyssey, Cheryl? No, I see her, but okay. Again, Team Cloud leading 81 to 69 here in the fourth quarter of the first of our doubleheader. Under four minutes to go here on Valley Sports and the WNBA app. We sure do appreciate you being a part of the Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball here in our third season. And this has been the best season by far as far as elite competition. We have a new director of sport, Megan Perry. She has made sure that the level of competition has just 
leveled up. More than 70% of the players this season have WNBA or international pro experience, and you can see it every night with the scoreboard lighting up like a Christmas tree, Cheryl. Oh, Megan was for real. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, no, this is, this is what we're going to do this year. Great sportsmanship here with Tosh Cloud, making sure that Odyssey Sims was okay. And you just love to see that, and that's just so indicative of what kind of human being that Tosh Cloud is before basketball player. Yeah, well, if you remember last week, we talked about the, the tweet that Tosh put out about Odyssey, mm -hmm. how much she's grown, not just on the court, but off the court, and how she deserves to be in the W somewhere. So it's no surprise that um, she went up to Odyssey before the free throw. And, and that's another reason why I was like, there was, to me, there was nothing intentional that Tosh right. tried to do, but because that's who Tosh is, but also because that's the, the relationship that Odyssey and Tosh have. Shot clock getting low. Hearn trying to get it out. Sims has to fire off the mark. Haley Jones coming up with the big rebound. Team Cloud winning the game by 10. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter at 15 points apiece. So still plenty to play for. Muldrow triple off the mark. And Ray Burrell rips down the rebound. Odyssey Sims surveying. Brings it back out. Izzy Harrison trying to get it inside to Bashara Graves. That doesn't work. The length of Haley Jones is a problem, Cheryl. Yeah, it is. Ha Haley's able to defend pretty much any position on the floor because of that length that she has. Not sure why Izzy didn't shoot that. Muldrow buries the triple. She says, finally, <laughs> gets that to go. She's got eight points. And just like that, Team Cloud has the lead by three here in the quarter. A whistle blows away from the basket, and they'll ticket Muldrow with a personal foul. That will be her third. Ty Young checking back into the game for Team Sims, wearing orange and white as Bashara Graves takes a seat. You can experience the excitement of AU Pro Basketball in person right here in Dallas with us. Join us for Friday's college night games at 6 and 9 Eastern with the first 250 fans receiving an AU pint glass. Always love an adult beverage collector. Go to auprosports.com backslash tickets to get yours today. Ray Burrell with the three ball. So Burrell quickly up to 11 points. And the team cloud lead is gone again. Another three, Muldrow, no. Weak side rebound, how about Lexi Brown? Getting it to her captain, Cloud. We're tied at 18 points apiece here in this fourth quarter. 60 win points on the line for winning the quarter. Whistle blows as nobody could contain Tiff Mitchell as she turned the corner. Well, and because Tosh has been in this seat so many times as a captain, mm -hmm. she understands the leaderboard, the points, the quarter points, the quarter wins. Yep. And she also under, understands time and score. So that last time, she's like, we're going to pull it out. We're not in a rush. Come on, Tiana Muldrow. I will have whatever Muldrow is having. She's got three made triples on the day and 11 points. Muldrow tying her career high with those three threes. And she has a nice stroke from behind three. So it is Team Cloud with the basketball winning the game and the quarter, but the quarter lead is just a single point. Shot clock into single digits. Ty Young with the thievery and the finish. And just like that, Team Sims retakes the quarter lead. <laughs> and now a little full court pressure from Young, the OG. Yeah. Retire Rishmeyer. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Retire what? Rishmeyer. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed it to rhyme. <laughs> Tosh Cloud with the take. The reverse doesn't go. Oh, I wanted that shot to fall. So it's Odyssey Sims. With the lead in the quarter, 22 to 21, trailing in the game, but can get those precious 60 quarter points for winning this fourth and final quarter, and it's a turnover. 
Odyssey Sims with 25 points, eight assists, and six rebounds. Tosh Cloud quickly ahead to Lexi Brown. Shot clock is off, but Team Cloud's got to score to win the quarter. Haley Jones does come through. It's a quarter win at the buzzer. Ray Burrell doesn't get the shot off in time, so Team Cloud wins the game worth 180 points wow. and wins the quarter 23 to 22 as Haley Jones would was able to beat the buzzer and that just crushes Odyssey's attempt to try to catch Alicia Gray at the top. Yeah, uh, for Odyssey, she absolutely needed to win at least one of those two, preferably both. But with the turnover and not finding a way to win that quarter absolutely hurts her. But you know who it helps? Tosh Cloud. Yes, ma'am. As a, as we take a look at uh, the leaderboard, we're winning it for it to update with the quarter points and the win points. Want to shout out our producer, Casey Carter, director, Mike Dressman, my statistician extraordinaire, Steve Hunt, Eric Rue, who is my cheat code, and everybody here at Athletes Unlimited here in Dallas, Texas, for helping us bring you elite pro basketball. With that, we are going to say so long for now as we get set for the second half of our double header. Once again, our final score is Team Cloud winning 89 to 78 and all of those win points in Athletes Unlimited. Pro basketball continues tonight at 9 Eastern as Team Gray faces Team Bell. Check out where to watch on the website, auprosports.com. For Cheryl Swoops, Savannah Collins, Janae Sims, and our entire